This is a Wicked Brother proxy. Yes, yes. Package from China. An horrible styrofoam. I really hate it. Welcome to the Wicked Game Rank Collector. And today we're going to make a review about the Hummy Classic Next Favorite Portable Pocket NES Console. And what did the people of China send to us? Portable system to play all your favorite NES games. And let's see at the box what we have here. They tell you how to use, how to connect to television. Then there's the question, what came in this little box? Stay tuned and don't go away. And now I show you cable. Very nice, very good. I don't give a shit. And now we have here the portable NES station. It got the Famicom layout, very pretty. So let's zoom in, stupid camera. And when turned on, we have a lot of homebrew crap. Because nobody cares a shit about it. Why do you even put it on that? I really don't know. You have an idea why you do this? <sighs> it's horrible. So yeah, there's basically a button layout, A, B, turbo buttons, reset button for going back into the game. It's very, yeah, very, very nice if you want to use a multi-card. D-pad feels very nice. And at the back we find the battery compartment with four AAA batteries and the little plastic slot for entering your cartridge. So yeah, let's stick in some games. We're going to try out. And we got turbo buttons. Yes, I know. You really like turbo buttons. Oh yeah. Ooh, so we're going, going to go into a little bit of cheating. So let's test some games on it. Now, the first one we're going to try is Mega Man 2, the PAL version. Slice really in, very tight. Indeed. The power on. Put it in front of the camera. I want to focus it. Whoa, that's a very clear sound. Hmm. Whoa, that sounds really good. Buttons feel also fine. Really responsive. And the game runs like the original one. Huh? Very nice screen too. There is a screen protector on it, so uh, that's why it's a little yeah, a little fuzzy here at the edges. But that's just a screen protector. Yeah, really nice soundtrack. And now we're going to test a USA spell. It says it here in the Dutch language. Spelletje, spell. It's <laughs> Castlevania 3, one of the games that uh, yeah, won't work on a lot of clone systems. But as you can see, it runs the game. But does it run it fine? We will find out. Hmm. Blah, blah. So far it runs great. Ooh, that's a bit uh, bad, the background sound. Ah, you hear that? The background music is fucked up. Yeah, that's a shame. Besides that, uh, the game runs, but the music is awful. Yeah, that's a little bit... Now, this uh, game is... Uh, yeah, it's playable, but uh, no. The music you, is just... You won't uh, enjoy it. Okay, next one. Now, now we're going to try Super Mario Bros. 3. This is also the USA version. So uh, maybe the sound is this, this time uh, a lot better. Or maybe the system can't play a USA game as well. But we will find out. Hmm, this sounds very good. 
Hmm. No issues, so it can play uh, input games. Yeah, this game run fine. Yeah. It was just probably Castlevania 3. And as I said before, that game gave a lot of trouble with a lot of clone systems, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good thing uh, it can... Uh, Play uh, Paul as uh, NTSC games, well, most of them. And here uh, we put uh, a multi card. This is one of our favorite multi cards, the 154 uh, in one. We have made a review earlier about this, so check it out on our channel. And as you can see, it wants the multi card. At least I see the game list. But does it run the games also very well? Let's find out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah. Ah. Ah, it was uh, very good. No sound issues. What I really love about the system, if you press this button. Reset and that's it. Oh, yeah, that's very easy and to uh, easily switch another game. to switch to games with the multi card. Great. Whoa, the sound is also very clear. Mm -hmm. All right, this is going to take forever. Or not? Mm. <laughs> How did this work? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the sound is very good. I'm very curious. Is the old one, the old multicar of the 90s, is that one going to work? We will find out. No. This one worked fine, so... And here, we're running on a very old uh, multicar from the 90s. The Golden 250. Yeah. With our friend Arnold Schwarzenegger. For Predator, if I'm correctly going. Yeah. Let's try a game. Burger time. Hmm. Did that sound normal? You know this game? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but I'm not familiar with the soundtracks. No, I am. Let's try another one. Mighty Bomb Jack. Let's see. 1942. Oh, yeah. Turbo button. Use the turbo button. Yeah. I'm very lazy. Well, it wants this one fine. All right. Okay, one last game. Some weird games are on it. Ah, the Donkey Kong games. Hmm. It's very good. Let's do the demo. Yeah. Hmm. Okay then. Now and here uh, we're using uh, our converter to use uh, Japanese games. And those games are 60 pins instead of 72. And uh, as you can see, uh, it also wants the games. Well, at least it shows the menu. Let's start with the homeroom. Motokomat 3. Never played this game. Actually, it looks uh, pretty nice for a homebrew game. Come here. Yeah. 
the soundtrack are very funny. Yeah, but it's not really a bad game uh, for an uh, 8-bit fighting game. It's maybe even better than Mortal Kombat 3, the original one on the Master System, from Tech uh, Toy. <laughs> Got a lot of health in this game. Too much if you have uh, yeah. mm. Okay, next game. One more game. Yeah, it is an old multi card, so a lot of crappy games. <laughs> yeah. Of but the sound is, uh, as far as I uh, know, uh, pretty good. Oh, what is <laughs> Oh, you need uh, a light gun for this game or something. Yeah, you need a light gun. Okay, sorry, that will be a bit difficult, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it runs uh, fine with the converter, so that's also good to know. So, for final conclusion, what do we think of this product? Now, to begin with, it's very nice, it, yeah, it's multi-region, so you can play PAL and NTCS games, it works with multi-cards, uh, it works with converters, and the music is pretty damn good. Not to forget about the turbo buttons, and this is very important. They got an AV out, and if you want, you can use a DC adapter. Um, it's not, it, come, it didn't come with the handheld itself, so you need to use the, yeah, the batteries. How long it works? I don't know. I didn't try it. Um, it depends a little bit what kind of quality uh, batteries you are using. Uh, the only downside to this thing is the cartridges are, yeah, are really hard to get out. And sometimes you are thinking you're going to break the system. So that's a little bit of a downside. Yeah, what do you think, Wild Child? Uh, uh, actually, I find this uh, the device uh, very good. And uh, as, you can, as you could see uh, in our previous uh, tries, it uh, plays uh, almost all games. Yeah, except uh, the Castlevania 3. But uh, as I said before, that uh, game uh, gives a lot of problems with a lot of uh, clone systems. But most games do work, and I'm also very surprised that uh, the multi-cards uh, work without uh, any problems. The newer ones as the older ones. And also the LCD screen is so nice and yeah, very clear, and you can play easily in the dark too. So Overall, I think this is one of the best uh, yeah, portable systems uh, I've ever seen. Yep, I agree. It is a really nice product. Really nice. And... Yeah, if you are a big fan of the Nintendo franchise and you want to play your original games on the go, I think this is the one you need to buy. And also what's uh, good about it is that you can play it on the big screen. So uh, the, yep. it comes with a uh, TV out cable, so uh, that's very nice. Yep, indeed. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a better idea on what kind of product you're going to get. And yes, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.